Adout asked on a telegram group, an equilateral triangle of side 10, three circles are drawn as seen in the image and what is the radius of the three circles. If you get into details, if you start constructing here lines, similar triangles, uh, it's going to be very messy, especially by the time you reach the smallest one. Uh, there are many nice relations here. One is uh, the radii of all the three circles will be in a geometric progression. R1 by R2 will be same as R2 by R3, but that is for some other video. What I want to explain in this session is just, uh, it's an equilateral triangle. Everything about an equilateral triangle should be known. And you can solve this question simply by, you know, knowing the relations between side, height, altitude, and the in radius. Now, if you look at the uh, uh, image carefully, this first circle, the largest circle, this is nothing but the in radius of the triangle. So that you should directly get if the side is A, in radius of the triangle is nothing but A by 2 root 3. This could be as fast. So the radius 1 is nothing but 5 by root 3. This should come out directly without any effort. If you don't know this, start asking yourself how, how strong is my preparation. You also need to know the height of uh, is root 3 by 2 times A. Uh, so if I, the, the ratio of this, if I take the ratio of this, uh, I'll multiply it by 2 root 3. So the ratio is going to be 2 root 3 is to uh, 3a is to a, that is 1. So now I've got the relation between height and in radius also. In radius is nothing but one third and that was pretty obvious also, right? The, uh, the, uh, this is the centroid, centroid divides the height into circumradius and in radius and obviously centroid divides it into 2 is to 1. So circumradius is 2 thirds of the height, in radius is 1 third of the height, right? So I hope you'll not forget this for a minute. So I'm taking triangle 1. This is the larger triangle. I know the side is 10 and because the side is 10, I know the in radius is 5 by root 3. This is your R1. Okay. I also know the height is going to be uh, 5 root. Height is root 3 by 2. Now, for the second circle, the thing that I would advise you is you could have just thought of it also being an equilateral triangle by just drawing this parallel line. So let me call this as triangle 2. If I know height, side, anything of triangle 2, I know the in radius also. And can I get the height as the complete height minus the diameter? So for triangle 2, What is a height is going to be, a side is going to be a little difficult. Let's find the height. Height is going to be 5 root 3 minus the diameter. And what is the diameter? The diameter is twice of this. That is 10 by root 3. And which is root 3, root 3, 15, 15 minus 10, 5 by root 3. And now I have seen this relation also, mind you, right? So, uh, Let's continue. If the uh, height is 5 by root 3, the uh, in radius will be one third of it. So R2 is going to be 5 by 3 root 3. And I had already said, now, now that you have done a relation between the first triangle and the second triangle, the relation between the second and the first third triangle is going to be same, is going to be identical to the relation between first and second. If I would have just erased this and I would have expanded this, it's going to look as the identical one, right? So R3 here will be here. What has happened? Everything in triangle 3 is going to be divided by 3. All of it is divided by 3. Right? So in triangle 3 also you would be dividing everything again by 3. So that is going to be 5 by 9 root 3. 
So this tells me another takeaway when I draw such triangles, circles, I know the successive triangles are becoming one third, one third of the previous, considering this as a first triangle, second triangle, third triangle, right? So a lot of takeaways from the question.